What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again at, again at IMTS for Practical Machinists. We are continuing our coverage, so make sure you are staying tuned to all these live streams because right now I am joined by Michael from Zoller. How you doing, Ian? Great, thank you very much for joining us. How's the show been so far? Oh, fantastic, busy. Busy. You guys have a huge booth here. I see lots yeah. of yellow shoes walking around. Absolutely. If you guys don't know, they're famous for them and I love yeah. them. I actually want some. But more importantly, we have some brand new tech on display here today. What are we, we looking at? Um, so as everybody knows, Zoller is known as a presetter company. But here at the IMTS show, we are premiering our new power shrink uh, shrinking system. This is a this is a revolutionary machine in the in the shrinking world. We've redesigned our induction coil. Uh, this is the first time it's been redesigned in, in years and years. Most of the time, Ian, um, the induction coil has one single uh, element that goes across. With Zoller, we've actually designed it with two elements. So we're heating the top and the bottom of the, of the actual tool itself. This allows us to expend 30% less energy in heating this tool. So we're doing it 30, with 30% 30 less energy and 30% less time. Because people who don't know, this is actually an induction coil style heater. That's how these things work, correct? That's correct. Make yep. sure I'm saying that right. Yep. But for those who also don't know, heat shrinking, this is where you take a heat shrink tool holder just like this, you heat it up, that actually expands out, you put the tool in, and when it contracts, when it cools, yep. you get a very solid, very rigid tool connection. Yeah, very rigid with uh, less run out than a lot of other holding systems. Call it style. Or Call it style, yeah. Set All, screw style. Yep, absolutely. So what am I seeing here? I see a lot of green lights. I'm seeing, how does this thing work? Yeah, so this is really cool. This is the first heat shrink unit that is both CSA and UL certified. And for those who don't know, what does that it mean? It meets all of the safety standards for the employees. You know, so countries like Canada, Mexico that require all their machines to be, you know, certified, this machine fits that bill. And what we've done is we've actually incorporated what we call shrink by light and cool by light. You can see these really cool lights. They're not just cool, they're functional. So they walk the, um, the employee that's setting the tool, they walk with the light through the process to make sure they're doing it properly, they're doing it safely. Uh, the cool thing is, our like our cooling bells, when, when we have a hot tool, we can just engage the cooling bell, and you see automatically the cooling bell turns red, which indicates that it's hot, it's currently in the cooling state. So these actually cool, so after we heat it up, these actually cool it down faster, because otherwise, traditionally, you gotta put it down there, you gotta sit, you gotta wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, yeah. even then, might be burning yourself. Yeah. That actually cools it off. Yeah, we have a chiller. So the chiller, this is a self-contained system. So the chiller puts the liquid through and, and basically uh, encompasses the tool, takes the heat away. Within a couple minutes, the, the tool is room temperature and ready to go. And that will go green, I assume, when it's ready it's gonna to go. go blue, it's gonna cooler. go blue, even cooler. Yeah, even cooler. So yeah, as soon as uh, it's cool, it'll go blue and then the tool's ready to rock and roll. But the nice thing is, I can be shrinking another tool while that's cooling. You can actually have, I see here, five stations ready yeah. to go. Yeah, absolutely. Now you have your different sizes, I take it these are for the different size bases. Yep, this is an HSK 100, so you know, no problem. This is a 600 millimeter machine, so it'll take longer tools. We also have a 400 millimeter machine if you don't need it. Uh, one other thing, oh, look at that. Ready Turn to go. blue, it's ready to go. I can. Slide my cooling bell back up, our slides, it's really cool. Instead of having just something on, you know, on uh, the cooling tubes or whatever, it's nice and, and compact and stays in place. But I want to highlight too, this really cool feature on our new shrink. It's called our Veroct coil. Veroct coil. Veroct stands for variable octagon. Okay. So basically it's an octagon that that is variable and it, and it changes diameters very simply to whatever diameter tool oh, automatically. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, so in this particular case, we're at six millimeters, so we've got a six millimeter stop with our, with our octagon. If we're shrinking a tool that's maybe 32 millimeter, it automatically opens up to that Stays size. Stays nice and even around yeah. the whole outside. Yeah. And one thing I know that Zoller is very famous for is your integration here. What are we looking yeah. at on this end? So here we have a full control, which we have the ability now to actually use things like QR codes, uh, data matrix codes, which allows us to create a unique identifier. So we can serialize this tool 
And now when we walk up to it, we can simply scan that QR code and all the correct parameters for that tool pop up on the screen. Andy, and what, it, what it'll do is it will actually keep track of how many times we've shrunk this tool. Is there a limit on how many times yeah. you can shrink a tool? Absolutely. Every tool holder company has a different limit based on the quality of the holder and everything else. 1,000, 1,500, you know, somewhere in there. Um, but if we don't know how many, the only way we can tell is when we're getting run out, when, when the material is actually is so elastic it won't grip the tool anymore. And this keeps track of all that for you just by scanning it in, just like you're scanning your groceries. Absolutely. Now, the other thing I know we were going to look at today, we have heat, uh, heat setting, obviously, or heat shrinking. You guys obviously do presetting. Yep. I believe we wanted to look at tool balancing. Absolutely. The other new machine that we're releasing right here at IMPS. Can we go take a peek? Let's go take a look. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the one. This is it. This is it. So not only is it awesome and it functions great, but it looks fantastic. You can't argue Made with that. Made for every shop. Again, CSA UL certified, the only balancer that actually is. So this, this uh, machine can go into any shop. It can meet every standard in any country. It's good to go. So basically, what we have here is we have a, a twin pane safety uh, partition so oh, wow. the door is actually nice and thick and it's got two panes that's going to keep that you know if if we have some kind of a mishap or something it's going to keep everything contained inside keep the it machine. safely inside absolutely. the machine absolutely uh, from there we're, we have our our software our control very simply we can load the tool we can we can uh, balance the tool uh, you can balance by screw you know with uh, balancing screws uh, if your holders can accept them, you can, you know, you can mill, you can drill, you can use rings. Uh, our system will accept all those as standard. So you don't need any special software. Uh, basically, you set it up, tell it how you're balancing, and it's going to give it to you. We also have a functionality. I'll just throw this in real yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have a laser line. As you can see, the laser will tell you where that imbalance is at. So if you're milling or drilling, it'll actually give you the range of that and tell you exactly where to perform It doesn't just tell balance. you it's unbalanced. It exactly. shows you exactly where you need to go. Absolutely. Now, for those who may not be super familiar with tool balancing, why would you want to balance tools? Okay, well, I mean, it's really important, especially if you're high-speed machining. So think about, think about centrifugal force and an imbalance of that. Think about a tire. If you're driving down the road and your tire is heavier in one spot, Boom, it's boom, 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 right? It's going to create that vibration, which eventually is going to ruin the bearings and everything. Your machine spindle is exactly the same. So if it's sitting in there and it's it's thumping around, you're going to lose 30 to 40 percent spindle life, which really? is going to cost you, you know, uh, a, lot a lot of money to, to <laughs> fix. You know, now imagine if you're doing that every six months because your tools aren't balanced. So the biggest misconception, a lot of tool holder companies, and we are one of them too. Um, that's one thing we'll talk about. Um, they'll say, well, we provide you balanced tools. So everybody thinks, well, the tool's balanced, I'm good. It's right? and ready to go. The problem is, is once you actually heat that tool and put another, uh, uh, heat that holder and put a tool in it, you're no longer in balance. Right. right. We've just changed the dynamics of that tool. So it's really important after you, you know, put a tool, whether you, you're, whether you're using a hydraulic or whether you're using a collet chuck or, or uh, even a welding, it's really important that you that you balance that tool. So this isn't just for heat shrink tools. No. You can use this to balance any kind of tool, Absolutely. any kind of holder. Absolutely. HSK, HSK as yep. I think we have in there right now. Yep. I assume that we can put 40 taper in oh, there, yeah. 50 yeah. taper, yep. whatever you need. Yeah. So our so the basically the cartridges uh, represent the spindle size. Of course, this is HSK 63, but simply uh, four screws. That whole cartridge comes out. You can replace it with the with the uh, you know SK40, C taper 40 and you're good to go. And of course, because we've been talking heat shrinking, we've been talking balancing, and of course, we have tool presetting. We're just gonna go over here a little bit yeah. because I saw something that we can't get a little too close to right now because there's yeah. too many people there, but there's a giant box over there with a robot yeah. in it. Do you wanna tell me what we're looking at there? So that's the big daddy right there. So this is our robo box. So our robo box is a fully automated tool room. So we're shrinking, we're washing, we're setting, 
but not only that, we're staging and we're able to drive those tools directly to the machine. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah. basically you just took all these processes, the same heat shrink we yeah. have here, the same tool balancing, the same tool presetting, Absolutely. put it in there, you basically tell it what you want it to do, Yep. tools come out. Yep. Yeah, you stage, you stage your tools. You can even put a, like a Cardex shuttle system and we'll actually pull the tools out of inventory. Really? Put them together, shrink them, send them on their way to the machine exactly when they need to be there with the Zoller HEVs and the Zoller RoboBox. And who's putting a system like that on their floor today? What kind of company is putting those in? Big Aerospace, uh, Big Automotive, all of those guys are looking, listen, um, finding people to do this work is hard, right? It's the, it's the flavor of, of, of our environment right now. We've been now. hearing it everywhere, absolutely. Absolutely, and, and now we're able to actually reduce the amount of labor needed to do this work, and we can do it lights out. And so, it's more consistent. Absolutely. So the first tool of the day is gonna take 12 minutes for, for basically the cooling cycle. After that, we're spitting a tool out every two minutes. Every two minutes? Every two minutes. Key trunk, preset, balanced. Done. Somebody goes, picks it up, or the, the robot takes it to them, they're good to go. Yeah, Just puts it in the transporter, transporter takes it where it goes every two minutes. So if you're at IMTS, you have to come by, yeah. get a closer look at this system. You do not want to miss it. If people want to get more information about Zoller, where can they find it? Okay, www.zoller-usa.com, number one website. Come by the booth. Love to give you a personal demo of all of this stuff. We got all kinds of, the Zoller guys are in white shirts. Just find somebody. Everybody can demo the machines. Check out the presetter. Check out our tool management software. Amazing, our cabinets. Not only is it functional and it works great, but it looks awesome. It looks nice too. When you walk into your shop and you've got all Zoller in there, it looks fantastic. You're gonna so, be a happy yeah, guy. We love it, we love it. Uh, our shrinking, balancing, you know, our Redomatic heat shrink uh, tool set all in one. All of this stuff, come by, check us out. We'd love to demo it for you here uh, in the West Hall. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much, appreciate it.